Hi everyone, this is Miss Melissa with the Hunterdon County Library and today I'm going to show you how to crochet your own Mobius strip and you can wear this on your wrist as a cuff and for this project you will need yarn and a crochet hook. Now you might be wondering what is a Mobius strip? So a Mobius strip, it's a mathematical concept and it's basically a twisted strip that has only one side or one surface. Now this may look like it has two sides, but there's actually only one side. So it's a really interesting mathematical concept and I'm going to demonstrate how that concept works through crochet and you'll see once we get started. So let's pick up our hooks and get started. Okay, so let's get started making our Mobius cup. And if you have never crocheted before, don't worry. I'm gonna show you the basics and you'll be able to create your cuff in no time. So to get started, grab your hook and some yarn. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a slip knot. So we're simply going to twist our strand and just pull that piece through, that loop through. And we're gonna place this on our hook. Now what we are going to do is create a chain. And you want to make the length uh, long enough that it will fit around your wrist comfortably. So to create a crochet chain, we're simply going to wrap the yarn and pull through. So we created one chain. Wrap the yarn and pull through. So I'm going to create about 30 chain stitches, so I'm going to do this 30 times. Once you have the length that you want, you're going to trim the yarn, leave a little tail, and just pull the yarn through. Now we're going to use another color here to begin our cuff. So, you want to place your crochet hook into the top of these stitches. And you can see that there is a V. This is our chain here and V. And you want to stick your hook into the top here. And we're going to grab this piece of yarn and pull it through, leaving, leaving a little tail here. Now we're going to stick our hook into the next stitch of our chain, and we're going to do one crochet stitch. So we're going to grab that loop, pull it through. I'm going to take another loop and I'm going to pull it through both of these stitches. Like so. And I'm going to repeat again. So I'm sticking the hook into the next stitch. Pull through.
and we're going to repeat until we get to the end of our chain. Okay, so now that we've completed that first row, we're going to form our Mobius strip. So normally working in the round, you would join to create a circle, but for our Mobius twist, we are going, we have to create that half twist. So we're gonna line up here and then you just want to twist. So now technically you'll be working in the into the bottom stitches here and you'll start to see how the Mobius structure forms once we get going. So I'm going to stick my hook into that bottom stitch there. Pull the yarn through and I'm going to create a slip stitch. So all that is is just taking this loop here and pulling it through that one like so. And now we are going to do the same thing that we just did before. I'm going to go into the stitch Pull the yarn through. And you're going to do this all the way around until you get back to the beginning and you'll know once you reach that tail and there are no, there's no more uh, yellow stitches to crochet into. So you can continue in the round. Once you reach that tail, you can uh, continue working with the same color or you can start working with another color. I suggest using uh, another color because then you will really start to see how the Mobius strip works. Okay, so after you complete that round and come back to the beginning, which you can tell um, by the uh, tails here, we're gonna finish this round off with a slip stitch. I'm just going to place my hook into this first stitch here and simply pull through. So we completed the first round of our Mobius strip. I'm going to change colors. So I'm going to trim this Pull through. And now I'm going to attach the next color. And this round you will really see how our Mobius strip is gonna take shape. So I'm going to stick my hook in that first stitch there and pull my new color through. And we're gonna repeat the same thing 
that we did our first round. Stick it into that stitch, pull through, and we're going to continue. Now, right now, it looks like there is a top and a bottom to this shape, but as you continue along, you will see that there is really only one side and you'll be working both this, this top and bottom in one round and you'll see that as you crochet further. So you'll notice as you're working around that you come back again to the start where you have your tails, but we're still not done with this round. We still have a bit more to work before we get back to that blue part again. And this demonstrates that Mobius twist. So now we've uh, finished our round because we've reached back to the blue where we started. And it may seem like we worked the top and the bottom of the previous round, but really it was just one round. And again, that's because of the Mobius twist. And to finish off again, you're going to just create a slip stitch Pull that strand through. And again, you can um, continue in that same color or keep changing colors. It's easier to see, again, how the Mobius strip works when you do change colors. And then once you are all finished, you can, you can tie these ends into knots um, and just trim them. Or if you have a tapestry needle, uh, you can weave in the ends uh, to hide those ends. But there you have your Mobius cuff, crochet cuff. <laughs>